Hmm. Oh, what the? Hold up. I was expecting the whole Pokemon. Tweet, tweet. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> But, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you don't know who I am, welcome! My name is Simpistato and I be playing Pokemon games, and I'm funny, I think. But, today I'm bringing you with a brand new Pokemon fan game, which takes place in the ancient Rome. Anybody that likes Rome or Greek stuff, I think this is something like that. Because this place, this game called Pokemon Pantheon, I think I should have really started it off like that, but Pokemon Pantheon starts off in an ancient Roman-like region called Olympia. And our protagonist, us by the way, <laughs> uh, we embark on a you know regular old Pokemon Odyssey. They don't say journey or anything like that. They're a little different. They say Odyssey. And we, what? They talking real, they talking, I, I'm reading the freaking, um, I'm reading the freaking like. Ooh, hey, hey. Oh shit, bitch. I feel like a Roman nigga. Hold up. Hey, okay, but y'all see what it is. We got Pokemon Pantheon. They got new history. I don't know what history they got going on. If this takes place in like a different region, you know, like one of them Legends games, but they got new characters. Pokemon follow you. Man, the adventures be full of mysteries, myths. I'm definitely not reading this off the Hack Haven site where you can download the game for yourself. If anything, hope you guys enjoyed this series or th today's episode. Let's get started. Yeah, y'all. I know, I know. One hell of an intro. Like this right here. Oh. I know the hiker not about to give us an intro, man. Not one of these niggas. I'm not trying to... Translated by Hack Haven. Oh. It looks like it's about to rain. I need to find shelter soon or I'll regret it later. Facts, facts, facts. You got that heavy ass backpack on and you got that whole hiker grab on grab garb on nigga imagine huh what on earth is this you nigga that's a big on bro a one percent fine you better have about 30 ultra balls on why well, at least 45 ultra ball, ultra balls on you nigga oh wait no he talking about the logbook wait what on earth is this this man worried about the rain, but then he starts worrying about a, a freaking old diary that's in the middle of the uh, mountains. Uh, it looks like an old diary. It's ripped and worn out. It must be quite old. Yo, I don't think this is the type of background music for this type of scene, you feel me? I can't understand anything that's written on here. But judging by its handwriting, it must have belonged to someone cultured and important. Oh shit, what he said? He said there's a map. Olympia? Is that a name of a region? Oh, wait, so this shit got from somewhere else. Damn, so did we drop this? You know, maybe it was like flying uh, Solomon's, maybe. Oh, that wasn't even the intro. This is the intro. Hey, uh, 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 uh. greetings. My name is Palomiro. I'm here to teach you the basics of everything around you. It's a humble profession, as if I do say so myself. Palomiro? Me? I'm nobody. Bitch, you kind of look like me, Simpistato, except like you're Palmirado. He looked kind of like the Aristotle, Socrates type of person. I'm just a person in search of knowledge about the world of Pokemon. Oh, oh no, well, the world around me. You, you know, this nigga Simpistato needs to stop reading ahead of people, if anything. It's an active, it's an active and exciting search. Right now, we're in the Olympia region. Oh shit, really? A place where... A place with a multitude of cities and abundant vegetation everywhere. Okay, okay. But perhaps the most important part... But perhaps the most important part of it is the... Are the extraordinary creatures that we call Pokemon. Who's now... Whose name I guess you won't find strange. Facts. I've heard of them a long time. This is Cubone, my faithful companion. Together we travel through Olympia in pursuit of knowledge. Damn, you and Cubone? That bitch still ain't evolved. Damn, boy, hold up. Well, I'm a lover of practical and active conversations. How about telling me something about time, man? You over here talking to me, talking to me about how I don't even know. Oh, wait, this probably kind of like uh, um, Caesar, old ass, walking around all of Rome, bro. I mean, he kind of, the only reason why I said that is because he kind of got the, the Caesar garb, Caesar garb. Uh, I would like to know, what are you like? Well, you know, oh, shit. Oh damn! Okay, so this what they had. This how this how they had it in. This how they had it in Olympia. Sheesh! 
All right, all right. And they had Sinbad in Olympia too? Okay, I see them. Now, wait, it, was Sinbad Roman or was he like some type of ancient? He was an ancient Greece. I don't know where the fuck I was going with that. Uh, I don't know. Sinbad was something. So we're going to call, uh, instead of Sinbad, we're going to call ourselves Holy, Holy Good. <laughs> I don't know, bitch, because that shit sound, it sounds like it works, man. Holy Good. Did you say that? Or maybe Ga Holy Gudo. What? Nigga, I didn't say, oh, nah, this man, oh, well, this is back in, like, you know, the AD, literally. Is it AD or BC? One of them times. So, this nigga, the hearing probably is way off. Can you tell me your name? Wait, what the fuck is he talking about then? Talking about some, I, I just told you my name. Holy good, dickhead. You talking about some Ga Holy Gudo. Yeah, sure. Ga Holy Gudo is my damn name. Holy good is a pretty nice name. Really, it has charisma. Hey, it has that charisma. Am I right, y'all? Who? Well, I'm Holy Gudo. What the fuck, bro? Really? You are about to experience an extraordinary adventure. I'm experiencing something extraordinary right now. You telling my name wrong, and the fact that I made that old adult person ass joke. Charisma? Come on, my nigga. You're better than that, Sam. Please, bro. Full of partners. Enemies, friends, shut up, bro. All this little sentimental shit. I ain't got time for that, man. I'm a Roman warrior, nigga. Well, not yet, as you can see. But I'm out here trying to make not bread, but I'm trying to be a warrior for my for my wait. How the fuck we back in ancient Rome and there's a Kyogre right there, bitch. Uh this boy. He always ends up sleeping in. Yeah, my fault, moms. Holy good! Come on! The sun has already been high in the sky for a few hours. Moms, wait, why you gotta yell like that? Are you even my- wait, she's my mom, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, this is back in the days. So she has that, um, that old farmer beret type shit. It looks like. It had to have been, like, they should have switched the fit up a little bit. Make the beret type thing, like, you know, white. And the dress a little red. Or, you know, pink. So that way it gives the motherly feel. And she says something about how father has already gone to work. That's- that's dad's fault. That's not my fault. She over here shaking her head. That, you don't know what I had to do last night. I had the most craziest dream. And they are still not getting up. Your father needs you to bring him his satchel. He left it at... How did she yelling at me and everything? And both me and Litton right next to me. Not Litton. Or the, the um, Pearly. Pearly right next to me are knocked out cold, my nigga. Like, look at me, bro. I'm literally knocked out cold while she is screaming in my ear. So come on, get up. It's about time. I'll wait for you downstairs if you want something to eat before you go. Damn, I'm so demanding. Oh, we just got up like that, all dressed up and everything. Hey, look at us. The fit is crazy. Hmm, so let's see what we got going on inside the room. Oh, my Pokemon sketchbook. Nice, nice. You're not going to show us the sketches or anything like that? Hi, what you got going on? The fan art, like the ancient Romanian, Romanian, Romanian? What's that? The ancient Romanian fan art? Perloin. I almost got the name right. I can never get this bitch name right. He looked like Per Ugly. He looked like Litten. Perloin seems to be seem, Perloin seems to have fallen asleep there again. You should not wake him up. That bitch got the same. He got wait. That man can sleep worse than me. Moms was screaming. Dad probably came in screaming earlier before moms, and that man was still asleep just like me. Hey, look, it's a Mancino. And I heard here, moms, what you got going on over here? What's good? Your father's satchel is in our room. Please, you have to take it. So you were screaming. Let me get this straight. You were screaming in my ear. Ran into my room talking about your dad left. I don't know why you still sleeping. You need to go take his satchel to his job because he went to work without you. And you didn't bring the satchel to me? You want me? I'm wasting more time. Oh, whatever, mom. You're, you're my mom. I can't argue with you. I think he left it on the car. You don't even know where he left it, moms? My, but my journey... Hurry, you, you need to go sit somewhere. I, or I'm not going to give you no treats. Look at this damn Mancino over here. Mancino is dusting the closet. Oh, I thought he was just playing. That boy, he, he putting in that work. Something I should be doing. The fireplace is turned off. This is where the the parents' house is? <laughs> what an obvious satchel. Aw, damn. They have a picture of their pets up other than their own kid? That's it's crazy. My mom sounds like she hates me, bro. I'm not going to lie. Let's just... I, I, I'll be on my merry way then, mother. She's not even going to... See me out, nothing like that. Damn, but we in Harp Town. Check this out. 
kind this place looks kind of sandy. You shouldn't step in tall grass without a Pokemon. It's tall grass, bitch. I thought that was wheat, my nigga. My bad. Wait, so my pops see inside here? Oh, he hard at work. Oh, never mind. No, this is just our little farm. Nice, nice. So where is Pops at? Where could Pops be at? Wait, honey. Oh, now you want something. Damn, she running, running. Don't you think you're forgetting something? What? What, what you got going on? How will you know how to get to Orc Arena of Time Town? <laughs> Y'all see what I did there? If you've never been there before. Is this my first time getting out of the house since birth? Hold up, what? What's going on? How, how come y'all never took me out of town? Nothing like that? Here, take the map that we had at home. But don't go losing it because it cost your father a lot to get it. So why would you give it to me? Just keep that bitch at home. It's in my key items place. Don't worry, moms. I'm gonna have this, I'm gonna have this shit here permanently. Trust me, it's, it's literally gonna be permanently. Because if I stop this series, that shit's gonna be there legit permanently, my nigga. Uh, sandals to run? Ooh, I know that's uncomfortable. This bitch running in sand and sandals? God damn, there are dangerous Pokemon and I don't want to lose my precious boy. Be very careful and good luck, honey. Oh, she does care. Aww. See you later, my boy. Laters. Alright, bye moms. Yo, you saw that? I hope you didn't see that hug. Uh, some Pokemon have different forms and abilities in Olympia. Isn't that amazing? I, I mean, I guess. I don't even know what Pokemon- I don't even know what Pokemon look like, lol. <laughs> So whose crib is this? What's going on inside here? Yo, what's good? I don't mean, well, no, this is ancient Rome, so they probably didn't really mind like random strangers intruding into their house. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? You couldn't look me in my face to say that? That's crazy. Nah, they was mad disrespectful back then. Oh, hold up, wait. I was about to leave, but I just seen baby girl over here. What's good, Betty Boo? Most of us in Harptown manufacture a multitude of products that we all sell throughout the region to earn our daily bread. Hey, y'all had bread back then? Dub wool wool? What a word. What a word to say. When did it get so damn dark? Okay, where are we supposed to be going? Oh, is this Pops? Huh? Oh, it's you, Holy Good. How are you doing? Is everything okay at home? Tell your mother that I've already prepared the dub wool yarn she ordered for me weeks ago. I guess it'll be used to mend one of your father's clothing. <laughs> Okay, he always tears them while working in Ocarina. Oh, I said that fucking completely wrong. But where's Ocarina? Ocarina. Where's Ocarina Town at? Ho, 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 ho. Thank you. He called me a ho to my face just because I asked him a question. All right. I, is it right here? So wait, no. Oh, Harp Town. Uh, wait, no, I don't care about the, oh, I actually, you know what I kind of do? Who am I going to add to the team? Who am I, well, nobody looks really good right now, so probably nothing. So I feel like Ocarina Town is pro should be over here, bitch. Who knows? Is this Pops? No, this is some random fisherman. All right, let's keep running. Oh, wait. That's not how you run. Oh, yo, what's good? I'm trying to go. Oh, no, I don't want to go to the Kyogre Temple. All right, now we running, 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 running. Okay, how the fuck do I get to Ocarina? Is she good? What happened to her? Ma'am, you all right? Let me stop you right there. No, I like flowers. What? fuck okay so she's destroying flowers i guess all right so let's just take this repel right here so we can repel her away from us because that chick is acting like a real demon they got the wool and double wool over here okay his name no wooloo not wool my bad i always get their names wrong I, I get everybody's names wrong i'm not gonna lie i just say whatever and they still come out sounding smart i thought you was an entire real sandcastle my nigga i was really about to compliment her until that bitch started moving <laughs> Okay, so I have no clue where the Pops is at. They talking about go to Ocarina Town. But how am I gonna go to how am I gonna go to Ocarina Town? I ain't got not one Pokemon. Right, so I guess we're supposed to go over here. Nice! Route one. Not one. Ah oh, fuck. So we actually do go to this bitch without no mons. We are in this bitch and we are chilling like it. Nothing but this water is so beautiful. If I had a Pokemon that knew surf, I could. You could not cross that. What would you cross it for? For what? There's nothing over there for you to even want to cross it for. Just sit there and gaze at the beauty of the uh, shit. I just realized I'm stuck. Yeah, where am I gonna go? Aw, oh, damn. I don't have not one Pokemon. Wait, something was in the grass just now. Y do y'all see that? It's getting closer. Oh snap, that bitch jumped out on me. It's a Shinx. A red Shinx. Chill out, bro. Chill. Chill, chill. You don't have to do all this. What are you mad about? Cubone, help them use Boomerang. 
That bit had to turn around too. <laughs> take him out. Take him out. Quick. Wait, what's good? Cubone, you alright? What the fight? Cubone. No, dickhead. I didn't even do that thing. Hey, no, no. I told you to help the boy. Yo, old man, I'm suing your ass. You over there walking slow as shit too. Excuse me, young man. Cubone seems to be... Cubone sometimes becomes confused and does not know exactly who to direct his attacks towards. He sees that the Shanks was mad as fuck at me. Alright, bro. I already know who I'm adding on to the team. And I'm still... I won't ever forget this, Palmiro. Oh, you're the professor. Let me show my respects. This nigga, he got, he got the mons, boy. I should not show... Him. Wait, what? Oh, he slapped the shit out of him. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Cubone. Let him know, man. My name is Holy Good, bro. It's not, I'm sorry. It's not no damn old Holy Good or whatever the hell he talking about. I'm sorry. My hearing is no longer what it used to be a few years ago. Hey, listen, we all, we all get there, bro. I listen to way too many music too loud and my hearing is fucking probably going to be fucked up in the next 30 years. Who knows? God forbid, man. Why are you in the middle of the route without any Pokemon to defend yourself? Because I trusted Pokemon with all my heart, man. I thought Poke- I, th I, I thought with, you know, having a kind heart, Pokemon would just love me and they wouldn't attack me and they wouldn't be hostile and they wouldn't be territorial, you know? Are you ignorant and don't know that wild Pokemon live in the tall grass? Why the fuck? I think you probably- well, no, never mind. He probably didn't see- you see- y'all seeing how slow that nigga was walking. He probably didn't see me- And Aaron? And you are walking to Orc Arena Town by yourself? Now he getting Cubone mad. My Arceus, you've got guts. You know, I was also heading to Orcarina Town. I had gone to visit the famous Kyogre Temple, which is located near Harp Town. Oh, that was you that was doing that. Nice. I've never visited it. And Cubone seemed excited about the idea. All right, Holy Good. How about we help you cross this tall grass and then I'll meet you. Oh, I saw something moving at the corner. The top right corner, I thought it was that um, Shink stuff. I was about to say, what did I do to that nigga to be, for him to be so mad at me? I was planning on giving a talk in the town square. I want to see if my teaching method works with the people of Olympia. Who's this nigga, Jesus? Or um, so actual Socrates or Pilates. No, not Pilates, Plato. All right, so we supposed to follow you? You first, holy good, I'll follow you. What the fuck? My protector is up over here. I was never scared to begin with. It was a small ass shinx. I could have just kicked the nigga. But then again, I don't know that man's type though. It could have like that man looked like he was the evil type, bitch. It could have been the dark poison type. It would have threw a poison sting at me. I would have been poisoned, laying down dead on the floor. Not even fainted because you know I'm not a Pokemon, bitch. I would have actually been dead. Uh, it's not so scary when you have a Pokemon to protect you, right? Well, see you in Arcarina Town. That's it. That fucking small piece of. Well, knowing my luck and with the past games that I've been playing, like, you know, the score bunny games, I would have probably encountered somebody my first step in. Ah, ah, we got to find our pops and he don't know where he is and I don't know what he looks like. Guess we're not finding our pops no more. So, this is the famous Regigigas statue from Ocarina Town. It is undoubtedly an ode to the mighty Pokemon that forged the very continents I oh the very continents today I like it I like it I fuck with it yeah you know that man doing that crazy uh, pose he looked like he doing a Teddy Pendergrass type pose I don't know yeah turn around little nigga my arse so many people have gathered in the square I mean yeah you're gonna tell a speech aren't you oh that's him laughing like that god damn wow I see you all are eager to learn I like that even more Mr. Palmiro, give us one of your talks, please. Yes, please. I left my job just to come and see you. Wow. Really? My nigga? God, like, God damn, bro. I want to learn something new. All right, all right. I guess I have no other choice. Today, I would like to talk to all of you about the relationship we have with our Pokemon. Sounds like a snooze fest, nigga. This sounds like an intro. Hold up, I'll be back. All right, I need a volunteer. There we go. Now we talking. No, me, 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 me. But more Lord Palmiro, me. Choose me, Mr. Palmiro, me, me. Well, well. I see that there are many volunteers. Ah. Oh, hey. All holy good goodness. You came to see my talk. Yeah, but I did not raise my hand though. You didn't see me raise my hand. I don't even know why you called me out talking about I'll be the perfect candidate, nigga. 
Not everybody looking at me. Everybody gonna get mad. Nigga, <laughs> fuck, I look like I care for it. Yo, what's good, B? Thank you, thank you. How, how you guys doing? I know y'all wish y'all was here, but look, listen. I've always dreamed of having my own Pokemon. Mr. Palmero. Nah, never. No, really? Wow, you really are a special individual. Anyway, I'll rephrase my question. Well, I have some friends here who are eager to meet you. <gasps> what? All three of you? He got me three starters? No, this is the first fan game where you get all three starters. Ain't no way. These three little guys are eager to be your friends. Look at this shit. You can choose one. What? Just one? Ah, oh, wow. Okay, he had me there for a minute. Damn, so these are starters? Or if you prefer, I can give you a little test and I can recommend which one to choose. Bitch, say less. Yeah, take the exam, nigga. Because I was already about to say, I seen a cool looking grass cow, a regular looking fire cat, and then I might go for the water type. The water type look clean. It looked like a emo, grim reaper-ish, pre-grim reaper water type. Perfect. There will be seven successive questions. Answer according to your tastes. Bet, bet, bet. Having explained how it works, nigga, shut up and give me the test, bro. Alrighty, first question. Do you tend to procrastinate? Oh, shit. That is a good question. Uh, bitch, if this... <laughs> oh, what? Nunca. Yo siempre trabajo duro. I think that's what that... I, I don't know what that means. David and cuando. Yo, you know what? I really need to learn Spanish, bro, because my Spanish sounds like it would be on point if I learned it. But... If this video comes out like let's say maybe in the afternoon then yeah i am procrasti procrastino mucho nigga definitely second question do you consider yourself an optimistic person bro i love every single last fan game that i've played so far i don't think there's been a fan game that i've hated other than um that one score bunny game that got my uh channel that got my channel copyright strike but other than that everything else poor so special wait what poor supesto kc uh what soy muy pessimista nah nah i'm not that pessimistic uh third question do you mind if people touch your stuff do i mind if people touch my stuff if they put it back i i really don't care uh claro que no Adora compartir. Depende de cosas. Yeah, it depends if they put my shit back. If you put my shit back, then yeah, I don't care if you touch it. But if you're going to take my shit now, I see my shit like three three rooms down and I, or I see it like downstairs, then no, you cannot touch my shit no more. Fourth question. How do you behave when you lose? Ooh. Y'all got to watch a lot of my RB Genesis games. You got to watch my freaking, um, what you call it? My Pokemon Reminiscence. Ojo, I don't know what that means. Uh, Ganar el es lo más. Fifth question: Do you often lie? Uh, miente, miento. I mean, I think the middle one. We're done. Let's see. How do y'all like the drum roll? My final recommendation would be Medini, the water type. I knew it. I was. Wait, so that's. That's the type, that's the type of mon that I get. Medini, what's good? I, I, I thought about getting you in the first place. What's up, Medini? They are shy, scared, and they cry a lot. This bitch sound like me. Not gonna lie. However, they are very affectionate with their trainer. Damn, Medini, sure thing, bro. What? Simp. We're gonna call you Simpini. There you go. So that way she is a little bit more like me. Good choice, holy good. Thank you, thank you. Stop laughing, bro. Ain't nothing funny about my choice. What's funny about the choice that I made, bro? Please enlighten me. I would love to, I'm begging you. I would love to know. Medini seems like... Medini seems to like you very much. Well, before we return those two little guys to their Pokeballs, how about we have a Pokemon battle for you and Medini to debut? No. Well, Professor, as much as that sounds like an incredible idea, how about yo ass give me them other two Pokemon and we can just go about our days? No? I think I will choose... Hey, old man! Get out the way! I'm in a hurry! Who said that? 
Oh shit. Ooh, wait. Why are so many people gathered here? Oh damn, wait a minute. You look familiar. Do have I seen you from somewhere? Ah, I know you. Oh, she, she was talking to the old man. I thought she was talking to me. Damn, baby girl, what's good? Why you got so much of an attitude? Already, you so loud for what? You're that old man who goes from town to town teaching people things. Hello, young lady. Exactly, it's me in the flesh. My name is Palmiro. Yes, Palmiro. I knew I had heard about you. That shade of hair with that style. And the way she dresses. I've seen this person before. Young lady, may I ask where you were going in such a hurry? I was going to... Well, uh... Bitch, what? That's a Pokemon! That's a Pokemon? Ah, oh, cool! Why she slapped the fuck out of me like that? And why... Wait, what's going on with her fucking hands? Why is her shits like that? Why Why her hands go way back? That, that seems like such an uncomfortable way to hold a Pokeball. Holy Christ. Uh, yes, they are. Do you like Pokemon, young lady? She ain't had to slap me, that's all I'm saying. Of course, I love Pokemon. I know all about them, I've studied them in depth. But I've never had one. Ah, so you're a nerd, you study Pokemon but never had one, and you have a Pokeball? So your ass have a whole Pokeball in your hand, you hurting your hand with that weird position that you got going on. And you still never had a Pokemon? That's crazy. Interesting, what is your name, my dear? Lyra. My name is Lyra. Young Lyra, would you like to have a Pokemon? Fuck. Are you kidding? I'd love to. Get the grass type. The grass type looks... Wait, don't get the grass type. Don't do not get... Don't touch the grass type. Well, you see, this guy's name is Holy Good. And he also got his first Pokemon just now. What about the rest of the crowd, my nigga? Every, there was a couple of other people. Well, no, that bitch got a shift tree. She, she's good. She, she don't need no starter. What do you think if you also choose the one that you like the most and have a match? This way, you can learn from each other. Holy good, huh? Okay. I like this one. Really? But you were looking at the fire type. Oh my god. Most move? That moss move. Damn. Really? Fuck my life. Well, you're coming back with me. Leave that one. Oh. Should have gave that one to me. What you, you got a cube on. What you gonna do with him? Moss move it is. Go ahead, moly, moly move. Fuck my life, bro. I, I called myself Moly Moon. Go ahead, Holy Good. I'm going to beat you up. I think Holy Good. I don't really think Holy Good is that good of a name, guys. Don't y'all think? Hey, hey. So we got the battle going on. Our new rival called Lyra has decided to challenge us. Let's go, Momu. We're going to give it our all, she says. I say, hell no. We're going to bring out the Simpini. Simpini, you are tiny as hell. I said, but I'm going to hit the growl. On this, on his ass. That bitch, he gonna immediately use tackle on me. I did not pick up a potion, and we're weak. So this is it. We're cooked. Cause nigga, I don't have not one potion. I got a repel for some weird reason. I got no berries. I used growl again. All right, and again. Cool. This bitch hit a fucking crit on me. And I lost 400. All right, I won my first fight. Now I'm closer to reaching you. Huh? Who's you? It was a great fight. It was a lucky fight, dumbass. Don't say it was a great one. Those two po- Don't. Fuck. Oh my god. So this is what loss feels like. Don't worry, I'll get my lick back, y'all. I'll get the lick. They, they don't care. They, they care because she won. I want to be able to fight like that, too. You guys were great. All I did was fucking spam growls, man. What, what, why was I spamming growl? Why did I spam growl three times? I could have beat her. Did you hear that, Holy Good? They liked our battle. I don't know what the fuck they liked about it. I, we didn't really do that much interesting shit. As you have seen, two young people who have never had a Pokemon a day in their life have managed to bond with them through battle. Pokemon are amazing creatures. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Pokemon Pantheon. You both did very well, and so did you guys. You guys did very well getting this far into the video, and I do hope that you guys enjoyed. It's been a long time since I had witnessed a bunch of rookies with such with so much potential. Even Cubone was thrilled. <laughs> this is the first time someone has told me. This is the first time someone has told me that I have fighting potential. Let me ask you a question then. What will you do now that you have your own Pokemon? I'll go after all the Agora leaders in each city. 
I have to get, oh, damn, each city got a leader? Oh, shit. Well, well, what determination? You remind me of a guy I talked to a few weeks ago in a nearby town. Oh, shit, she knows him. I thank you for recognizing my skills and for giving me a Pokemon, um, Mr. Palmiro. But I have things to do. I must go now. Beep -ba! She's out of there like a cutie fly. I don't know. But her, move di her mood did change really quick, man, after you mentioned that guy. Anyway, what are you going to do now? Uh, I mean, I don't know, to be honest with you. I'm going to go entertain my viewers. So with that being said, well, son, this is where you are. Did you bring me the bag I forgot at home? Wait a minute. Mr. Palmiro, is it you? It's a pleasure finally meeting you. Are you Holy Good's father? It's a pleasure to meet you. You have a son with extraordinary potential. I thought that man was mad. I thought he was about to beat the shit out of me in front of Mr. Palmiro. Extraordinary potential? My pops questioned. Come on, Holy Good, show him. A Pokemon? Is it yours, Holy Good? Where did you get it? Nigga, put two and two to fucking get him, my nigga. Come on, bro. <laughs> pops, please, get your satchel and get, get from me, bro. You embarrassing me, nigga. Uh... It is a gift from me. I want to see how Holy Good evolves with their new Pokemon. Y you gave them a Pokemon? Thank you so much, Mr. Pomero. I, I, I don't know how to thank you any much. Dad, stop dick riding in front of him. Like, chill. It's just a po regular Pokemon. Ho, ho, ho. There's no need to thank me. Simply let Holy Good grow alongside with their new companion. We have to go home and tell your mother. Come on, son. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you at home. Hey, wait, what's with the people? I don't listen, Mr. Palmiro. I wish I could tell you. I don't know myself. I'll go tell my mom the good news and I'll give my viewers the good news as well. What, how you feel, Sempini? Sempini está contento de poder seguirte en esta aventura. So, long story short, Sempini is ready for an adventure and so am I with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's showcase called Pokemon Pantheon. I actually played a game similar to this way, way, way back when uh, called Pokemon Africanus, but this one is kind of a little bit more immersive compared to Pokemon Africanus. So I'll leave a download link in the description below for you guys to get your hands on this game yourself. If you liked it, leave a like down below. Depending on the likes, if there's a lot of likes, I'll make another episode on it. I'll even make a series out of it if you guys want. And don't forget, y'all already know what to do, man. Y'all know the vibes. Subscribe for some more Pokemon action. We'll catch you on the next video or episode. Peace. Cha-cha.